In this video, I'm going to show you how to export comments. Um, it's quite easy. If you just go to add-ons and then modules, find export it and open it. Um, you'll notice that to begin with, uh, it opens up to the export members page. Um, but if you have uh, the comments uh, enabled, you'll also see um, a selector for comments. And if you click on it, you should see a couple of comments or if there are any comments on your website, you should see those. Um, you can obviously on this uh, site, there's so few comments that uh, filtering them won't really do too much. But um, if you had comments enabled on a couple of different channels, then you would be able to filter those. Um, you could actually select a date range. Um, you could choose whether uh, you wanted pending, open, closed, or if you have any other statuses. Um, and you can choose the format too. So um, discuss is uh, the one that I think will be most used. Um, so we'll just go ahead and use it. Um, and you just go through the process here to export. Um, and I do want to replace the one that exists, which I was just doing just to make sure uh, this was working correctly. And what you'll notice is that it, um, it actually formats these in uh, a RSS format that's appropriate for discuss. Um, and you know, you can see here the, uh, the title of the blog post, the link to the blog post. Um, then you can see the, uh, thread identifier and, you know, who made the, uh, the comment and so on and so forth. So, um, but anyway, uh, hopefully this, uh, will be helpful. Um, you see here the, uh, actually you see here the content and then, uh, so on. Um, anyway, hopefully this will be helpful and uh, if you have any questions, just hit us up.